March, 1878. Fireworks streak through the night sky. Revelers in exotic costumes parade through the streets. Thousands of people watch from the sidewalks and the windows of nearby buildings. One of the biggest parties in the city's history is underway. It's time for Mardi Gras in Memphis. Virtually forgotten today, the Bluff City's Mardi Gras celebrations once rivaled those in New Orleans, drawing crowds of up to 40,000 to the city. Featuring colorful costumes inspired by the cultures of classical antiquity, Greece, Rome, and Egypt, the festival had its own inventive origin story created by artists such as the renowned Carl Guthers. Playing on the allusion to ancient Egypt, in the city's name. Invitations to the festival were supposedly sent to attendees by an ancient secret society, the Memphi, which had its origins in time immemorial. In fact, the celebration along the American Nile were the brainchild of local businessmen, such as David Haddon and Colton Green, who wanted to boost the city's economy in the wake of the Civil War. The festivities, which began in 1872, coincided with a period of enormous economic expansion for the city, with the city's population doubling from its pre-war high. However, with the massive yellow fever outbreak in the Mississippi Valley later in the decade, and the decline of the city in the 1880s, the festivities gradually diminished. By roughly the turn of the century, the party was over. Luckily, the legacy lived on in other Memphis events. Struck by another disaster 30 years later, the city revived the tradition during the Great Depression in the form of the Cotton Carnival. Relying On some of the same ideas, the new festival became one of the biggest parties in the South, remaining part of the Memphis landscape to this day. 